Hillary Run around here. So last night I watched the movie Rings. Rings. And you know what? It really sucks. <laughs> it, uh, it's just you know I've never even really liked the other Ring movies. Maybe, I guess I was the first one. It was decent, a decent horror movie. But this one, that it's. I mean, granted, it's been a while since I've seen the other Ring movies, but I feel like this could quite possibly be the worst one. <laughs> it's, uh, I mean, basically. Uh, Johnny Galecki is in this, and if you don't know who he is, he's on the show The Big Bang Theory. He plays Leonard. So, but in this movie, he's supposed to be some kind of cool, hip professor at a university. <laughs> so he stumbles upon the uh, tape, of course, you know, the, the infamous tape with the girl on it, you know, from all the other Ring movies. He stumbles upon it and I uh, like some flea market thing. Uh, and then he, he's, of course, he watches it and then he starts to, and then somehow he gets it in his head that he can actually keep people from dying and that all they have to do is kind of like do something where they switch places with someone else or I don't even know. It's not even like fully explained. It's just some theory he has and uh yeah it's just and that's pretty much the entire movie <laughs> uh i mean yeah okay there's this uh, this girl and you know her boyfriend and they get involved in it too and typical horror stuff horror movie stuff happens to them and, and to Pretty much everyone else. <laughs> I mean, I guess the only thing that I kind of liked about this movie is that it touches upon the origins of, of the girl. Uh, Samara, I believe his name. Samara, Samara. The girl that's, you know, in that spooky video thing. You know, with the long hair, you know, she comes up out of the well and, you know... Uh, so they they touch a little bit upon you know her her backstory and actually I guess they get kind of deep into it. Uh, of course, I don't want to give it away if you haven't seen it. But other than that, like I felt like you know they could they could have done better if they just focused on that aspect of the story rather than try to make it yet another cheesy horror movie and you know but hey I don't know maybe they that's the audience they were targeting people who like cheesy horror movies and <laughs> so yeah I, overall I'd, I'd say as far as the rating goes I'd give it uh, uh, I'd give it like four and a half at the bare minimum <laughs> Four and a half out of ten. Otherwise, yeah, the most five out of ten. So, yeah. And that's me being generous. <laughs> it's, yeah, that's, you know, I, I wish I could say something about the performances. I mean, something good, but honestly, the, the most of the, Pretty much all the performances in this movie were mediocre at best. And so, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess, like I said, you know, it could be this is targeted towards people who like cheesy horror movies. If you happen to like cheesy horror movies, you'll probably like this. So, <laughs> and that's all I got to say. So that'll do it for this review. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. As always, next time, don't forget to keep it real, keep on rocking, and peace.